Hello, happy Valentine's Day. Welcome back. How excited are you to get back in there and silence the fans who say you just pull out all the time? Yes, thank you. Is this is to me a different uh, situation? Is I'm so happy to be to be here after a long time out, you know, a long stop. I try really hard to keep fighting since uh, the beginning of January of past year. I was ready to fight, but I, I get into a nego negotiation uh, talk with UFC, so this takes some long. And uh, we, when we finished that one was around July, and then they schedule a fight, right? for July, but Sunday they come up with a new new opportunity, a new fight against Chimaev, what would be bigger than the old one. So, but the fight just could happen in, in, in October in Abu Dhabi. So, it, it takes like uh, almost a whole year, and I was just wait for to fight Chimaev in Abu Dhabi, October. And then you, you, you all guys know what happened. I went there early, like 50 days before the fight, but I got that infection in my elbow. And uh, I really try, I try really hard to keep in the fight, but doctors uh, don't allow me to keep in the, in the fight, you know. So uh, right after that, I just try be healthy, and uh, keeping the shape to fight as soon as I could. And that fight that UFC suggests me is right there, October, um, February 17, against Whitaker. So I'm so happy because finally, finally I'm gonna show up, <laughs> finally I'm gonna be, yes, fighting for everybody to watch. How hard is it to do and expensive to do training camps without fighting. It's really hard because you do. The, the, the sensation is like a, the feeling is like a, I did 99% of the job, you know, just 1%, and I could not finish and, and show for everyone my improvements. But the improvement has been done, you know. Uh, a pesar, um, in spite of. That the fight that happened, but the improvement has been done. You know, I, I achieved some uh, upgrades, and uh, as I was training really hard for wrestlers, so I could say my wrestling skill set really uh, changed for for better. You know, uh, Coach Eric is the head of of uh, grappling and wrestling stuffs. And he br he bring for Abu, da um, Abu Dhabi two Kazakhstan guy uh, really tough guys wrestlers one Mongolia Olympic Mongolia wrestler and my rival just race so unfortunately I could not show up in the in the cage but I did a lot of improvement so I'm excited to show this on Saturday the guys we're gonna see a new version of myself, better version than myself, you know. Robert Whitaker says he doesn't want to just come here and beat you, he wants to come in here and hurt you. He's saying that he wants to bring the animal back out of him and he's coming here. When you hear those words, how does that make you feel? I don't trust on him. Don't believe. I think he trying hard. Maybe his team like trying to uh, bring back the desire for him, you know, like put in his mind you need to be like a young lion but yeah he's not his style he's more counter you know and uh, especially when he say that about fighting against a guy like me who really can knock him out if he engage in the fight I think uh, just not true I think um, He's trying. He's trying his best. I appreciate that. I just hope he brings the best version of himself and prepare. Oh, I'm different from, you know, for 
for that guy that you guys saw uh, against Vittorio, against Luke Huckhold. You know, I did a lot of people moving faster and dangerous, more dangerous than before. So, yeah, he's, he's, he's doing his best. You mentioned you wanted to have the best version of him. What did you think of the version of him that fought Drikas de Plessis? Sorry, say again. What did you think of the Robert Whitaker who fought Drikas in his last fight? Did you think that was the best version of him, or you think he looked a little off that night? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't put attention on that. I'm just focused on myself. I don't know about... You know, he, he, he used to be a champ, right? He's a former champ. I just hope his best days have not gone because I want to put his name on my record as a good name that I beat. Paul, um, since you last fought, there's been, I think, four different champions in the middleweight division. Why do you think that there's you know so much change at the top of the weight class and no one can keep a long reign like Adesanya had his first time? This is a hard division, a tough division, maybe one of the hardest one. So you have many good prospects, good gift guys, you know, fight at the top. It's a kind of common, but what's good? I like that. It's like a refresh for the whole entire division. Do you think uh, Drickus Dupussies could hold it for a little while, or do you think you know, next time it probably changes again? Uh, it's hard to say, right? But I don't believe he's going to hold that for so long time, too much, too much time. Is that still your, your top goal? I mean, you win a couple fights. Do you, you want a second shot at that title just because you felt so badly about how it went last time? Say again, please. Are, are you hoping that, you know, a win here, maybe one after, you can get another chance to fight for the title? Oh, after my fight against Whitaker? Oh, for sure. I, I don't see it all the way different than that, than go straight for the belt after beating Whitaker Saturday. I, I, I have no, no other way to go. I think uh, after beating him, you know, when you look for the the whole division, you have a, a popular guy who fight the way the people want to see, uh, the people like to see the fights going on, is me. So beating him, I will be the next in the line. Would it be your dream to fight for the title in Brazil? Would it be perfect? Paul Logan here. Obviously, you were supposed to fight Robert Whitaker a while back, so going into this one, did you change your approach uh, from your original approach to him, or is it kind of the same approach you had the first time? Uh, can you repeat the question so that he can... Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you were supposed to fight Whitaker a while back, so did you change your approach this time around, or is it the same approach you had going into the original scheduled bout? Se era para lutar com ele uma vez, ou seja, agora você mudou a tua maneira de pensar, a maneira como você se preparou para ele, ou foi a mesma coisa que você fez da vez passada? Uh, actually, I, I didn't make a, a whole training camp to fight with kid. Never. I just, I, I had um, some talks about fight him, but it's ne never come, uh, come become true, like a real one, you know. So this is the first time that I train for fight with kid. And I know you just mentioned uh, that a dream scenario would be for you to fight for the title in Brazil. But so if you get a win here for Whitaker, you propel yourself into those title talks more. Before you call it a career one day, what other goals do you have like on your bucket list for your mixed martial arts career? Você falou sobre talvez seria um sonho lutar contra por um título no Brasil. Mais além disso, além de lutar por um título, além de lutar no Brasil por isso, que outros sonhos você tem para tua carreira? Que outras aspirações você tem para tua vida? I have so many, I have so many dreams, big dreams, you know, but I need to put in order of uh, what should come first. The first one is get the, the gold. Actually, real first is beat Whitaker Saturday. After that is running for the gold and yeah. Once you get the, the belt, you know, defend multiple times and put your name in the history. 
And if the UFC decides to go down the Dricus Duplessis Adesanya route for maybe 300 or another event, how do you see that one going? Yes, I have heard something about that. Uh, not about that fight specifically, but about the champ um, not come back to fight very soon. So we need to see. We need to sit down and and make a plan. You know, in the worst in the worst scenario, yeah, if you have a other great name, you can make a super fight for tire eliminator or something. I I'm agree. I, you know, I I. I I uh, no fear no one I fear no one you know so I'm ready to fight any anybody uh, yeah I can definitely beat I, I believe in my skills my skill set I'm as I mentioned it before I'm feeling a new version of myself you know I'm 32 I feel feeling on my prime time physically mentally and technical. Uh, my weight cut is always getting better and better, easier and easier, you know. I don't feel like training anymore. This changed a lot. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I hit my prime yet. I think I'm, I am a, I'm on way, you know. But I'm feeling better e each time that I, I came here to fight. Awesome. Just one last one for you. little fun one. I see you have the T-shirt. Do you have any secret juice with you this fight week? Yeah. Yes, always. Uh, yes, uh, secret juice uh, finally get finished. We have uh, the product, you know, to drink and to sell for everyone. Everyone can be on juice, as a me right now. We beat Uzada, right? <laughs> Uzada is not here anymore. Yeah, uh, I'm happy because this new agency work w with UFC looks much more professional. You know, you you guys know I was like perseguido. Uh, I was uh, uh, persecuted by, by Uzada. I feel like that. I feel like persecuted by Uzada, you know. Uh, past year, I didn't fight. I didn't show up to fight. And I was the most test guy. Doesn't make any fuck sense. Why? So, yeah, that's why I fight against them back. Because, yeah, they bothered me a lot. Even in the... In the way in day, like a uh, morning, they come to <laughs> it's crazy, crazy stuff. But now I'm happy. The, the guys looks much more professional, not personal feelings and something like that. So we beat that. Thank you for your time. Paolo, back here. Uh, Paolo, we also heard rumors about Hamza Chimaev being in talks to fight for the title. Um, would it be more special if you were able to take the belt from him when you finally fight for the title again? Yeah, of course, everybody knows I don't like the guy, but I don't think too much, too much people, many people take take he so serious anymore. You know, he just stopped to fight. He he didn't beat anybody in the middleweight division top top uh, contenders or something or even top 15 he didn't beat anybody in the top team uh, top 15 middleweight division how we can take this guy serious you know he barely could beat Usman in 10 days short notes Usman was U Usman is a weatherweight he didn't carry away to middleweight and everybody saw that fight I was there even the guy jumping me in the, the ground is crazy, <laughs> you know. But I'm I'm like this beef between countries and cultures and two guys. But after beat with bro, I I will not want to 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 hear his name. Fuck him. He need to do something. He need to beat somebody at top, at least top ten in the middleweight. He did it yet, and I don't think he, he he's caps, capable, <coughs> capable, capable, capable to to do that. Thanks, Fabian. Uh, you know, that's my thought about him. That's my thought. Uh, I was there. I would, of course, I would like to to love. To, I would, would love to, to fight him at Abu Dhabi. It's not happened. Okay, I was frustrated, but I'm here right now, and I'm gonna fight 
a guy much more qualified than him, you know, which has better credential than him, have it ever dead, ever, ever had. And uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't believe he's gonna, he's gonna jump, you know, and fight for, for the belt before me. I'd like to ask you another fun question. As Oscar said, it is Valentine's Day here in the United States. What is Paulo Costa's idea of a romantic Valentine's Day? Yes, you, you <laughs> I cannot reveal. She's right here. But I will make sure to film or do something or some photo about that, and you guys are going to know about my social media. I have something. Paulo, when fans see you, I think a lot of people, you know, obviously a lot of muscles, very strong, very powerful athlete, but for the fans wondering, what, how much work are you putting in in the gym? I think fans want to know, like, you know, Paulo Costa is working on the grappling, the wrestling, everything else. Can you talk a little bit about how much you commit besides just the physical? You want to know my secret? <laughs> I mean, that or the juice, whichever you prefer. The juice is, is very important, yeah, but the routine as well uh, is more guy. So, yeah, I, I think, first of all, I am gifted. Jen, I don't know. To be honest, I didn't lift any weight on the last four, 50 days, or almost two months, you know. I just focused on myself, on uh, martial arts skills, and in consequence of that, hard train, the good condition comes, and uh, as I, it's hard to, I, I don't want to, to look like selfish for you, every, everyone here. Tá certo, selfish? Tá convencido? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I don't want to be arrogant. Yeah, I don't want to look, but I can get the muscles, punch meats and push bags, it's crazy. So I need to avoid weights to not be so heavy. And uh, maybe the secret juice is the, the reason behind all. Paulo, right here, <coughs> in front, to your left. Okay. Um, are you are you going to start selling a secret juice drink? Yes, yes. This is actually selling right now in Brazil, and uh, we are finished all the stuff to start right now in the United States, and um, I hope very soon around the world. Well, if you if you have to list the ingredients, does that mean the secret is out? You know, you're supposed to 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 put everything there, but. You know, you're gonna find a way to keep some secret. Oh, you left some ingredients off the ingredients yeah, list? Yeah, of course, of course. All right, thanks. Obviously, you've got a lot of history with Israel Adesanya. Is that like a fight that you still want in the future? Você tem uma história com Israel Adesanya. Uma uma luta que você ainda quer no futuro lutar contra ele? Yeah, we have some unfinished business in my thoughts. You know, uh, of course, I want revenge. Uh, yeah, but it's not my number one uh, in my list to achieve, you know. Uh, if if he never come back, fucking, I don't care. Okay, and I know you're focused on Robert Whitaker, but I just want your thoughts and who you think is going to win out of Volkanovski and Taporia in the main event. Oh, yeah, uh, both amazing fighters. I think it's like a cliche but like a old lion young lion I still with champ Volkanovski Hola, muy buenas en, en español. Eh, te quería preguntar, lo acabas de comentar, pero para los aficionados hispanos, eh, sobre el pronóstico del combate estelar entre Ilya Topuria y Alexander Volkanovski, ¿quién crees que va a ganar y de qué manera? Okay, so we'll follow up so uh, same thing uh, can you just elaborate a little bit for the Latin American crowd what do you think is going to happen between Volkanovski and Tapuria and how do you think it's going to go down yeah. now for yeah, for, for, for Los Hermanos uh, I, I, I got to with Tapuria <laughs> Tapuria going to win okay okay I play for the crowd he said <laughs> 